Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has funded many critical and commercially successful technologies. This is the story of one of them. In the face of ongoing tensions following the height of the Iraq War, U.S. military officials realized that American troops needed more realistic cultural training. They found their answer in a virtual role play technology developed by the Alelo Learning Company with support by the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program. Tackle Iraqi is a virtual role play game in which uh, trainees deploying to Iraq could participate in simulated missions. In 2007, Air Force SBIR funding enabled Alelo to improve the existing software and morph Tactical Iraqi into the Virtual Cultural Awareness Training, or VCAT. A VCAT typically has a set of learning modules where you're learning about aspects of culture that you're gonna likely run into based upon that mission. A lot of research goes into developing these courses. The content development team consists of anthropologists and linguists, instructional designers. We speak with service members who actually conducted these missions in these countries first to get their first-hand experiences. SBIR participation went beyond funding. The Air Force Research Lab's experts in human performance also provided a review of concepts and feedback to Alelo. Warfighters have a job to do and they have a mission and uh, they need to, uh, in that mission, they need to know how to interact with other people from other places in the world, from other cultures. Things like hand-holding uh, between people of the same gender are common over there and it's expression of friendship. Outstanding. Where that is uncommon in the United States and um, could create a situation where an Afghan person wants to take someone's hand as a gesture of friendship, an American would pull back and that would cause offense. SBIR funding was instrumental in expanding the modules into other languages and cultures, Buenos as well as helping Alelo transition from a DVD and gaming computer distribution platform to a web-based training tool. We re-engineered the technology so that it could work within a web browser to work on multiple operating systems. So it led to the development of a platform independent solution. SBIR funding also enabled the development of advanced authoring tools. What we wanted to do was create tools so that instructional designers, linguists, anthropologists who have no programming skills per se can specify the, um, the behavior, the design that they want, and then uh, have that be realized in the, in the simulation. The contract from the Air Force's SBIR program has been extremely important to Alelo's research and development of their virtual role play software. It helped us to develop a model and a framework which we've now applied to, I think, over 80 countries around the world. Even working within a diverse office environment or diverse organization, you might be working with someone who, or many people who come from different backgrounds or different cultures than you. And um, cultural awareness allows you to under try to understand where they're coming from, what their feelings are, what they're thinking. It's amazing what impact this has. So there was a study that the Marines did of the first battalion to return from Iraq without any combat fatalities. The local people recognized that these um, Marines had more appreciation of their culture than any group of Marines that they'd never encountered before. It feels familiar to them. They feel like they've done it before, even though they've only done it in a simulation, but it gives them that added measure of self-confidence. They know they can do it because they've already done it in the simulation. Learn more at www.afsbirstr.com.